this is uh, an old piece that I am. Uh, finished the majority of probably a few months back and I actually put stuff like this away because I I feel uh, stuck sometimes on certain pieces and again I'll work on them later when when I can look at them with a uh, with a refresh, um, refresh look at it. Some and I think time and seeing new resources help me with uh, to improve my technique practice so Listening to more, uh, more philosophy shows, more philosophy videos on on YouTube. And today I was listening to. Subject of um, of being create creativity and how it's the challenge today with capitalism. I do think we need people to, you know, scrub toilets, flip burgers, and do all the jobs that are just not cool, the ones that are not glamorized. I scrubbed many toilets in the Marine Corps, many. Mopped many floors with my with my hands. And I picked up. I don't smoke, but I picked up um, hundreds of uh, cigarette butts in the, in the Marine Corps. I, Flipped uh, quite a few burgers and grilled quite quite a few chickens, at Burger King and, and McDonald's. And learning all that stuff, it, or I mean, learning and experiencing that stuff, you know, from getting a when I was getting a check every two weeks from there and just for just uh, just show, basically just showing up I didn't feel challenged at all uh, doing that kind of work not at all if you're doing that kind of work today that's cool because you know, most people we, we need them you know, everyone needs a experience or a starting point but you know if you don't like doing that stuff you know plan your escape it's 
not as simple as follow your dreams, it's more like... You, if you have your goal, or where you want to be at, in the next year, one year, five, ten years, work your way backwards. How could you be at that goal, at that end result, from where you're at, at that moment? Yeah. <clears throat> Me, I'm still on a... On a journey that's all over the road right now because I know that with um, everything that I create I want to tell a story to express my imagination to let people see it and realize that it's uh, better or more thought out than some artwork that's already out there and, and um, other reasons that don't come to mind right away and I know that what I need to do is must remain uh, disciplined and focus and I, I've got to believe in myself I, I've got to do that and I'll believe in myself if I keep keep pushing keep seeing results even if it's just one 15 minute YouTube video a day and I'll say that if whether you're doing this or fun or you want to pursue it seriously I, mean, I believe that it's possible that you could even crush my portfolio and I would be flattered if uh, you create stuff that's more awesome than me. That's I like seeing people win. Even when, uh, when I'm the person that's being defeated. Because I believe that excellent work should be recognized. I don't like this whole participation trophy bullshit of uh, congratulations for um, putting out the form and doing your best to compete with the, uh, the professionals, the more dedicated, the stronger, the, the people with heart. That's my name on Facebook. So, yeah, keep at it, man. Even if you are from some small hick town, or if you're in the hood. surrounded by your violence or people that only care about working at the mill or simply being bartenders and housekeepers 
or thugs or let's say you don't want you don't want you don't want to do that again there's nothing wrong with any job if the market needs something well then it has a name well then it should be fulfilled by people that that want to do that, that decide that decide to do that but if you're there flipping burgers you know, learn learn from the business what what are they doing how are they uh, How are they keeping the business running? You know, you know, learn from them. What are they, what are they doing to keep that business a success? How are they wasting money? Where, where are they losing money? And just just keep those um, keep that in mind. You know what what are bad employees there? You know, don't I think you can learn from a lot of people. I've learned from many, many, many people. Even people I didn't like. There's um I I bet people that are that sell art, like they sell cards. Or I've learned that I can't sell. Uh, art and work like cars and I've seen people that create art on canvas or skin <clears throat> and they say oh dog you gotta check this out this is um, one of a kind this is um, this will look good on you this will look good in your living room And I cannot do that. I can't. And I tell people if you don't, if you're not feeling it completely or want to buy it or want to get it tattooed and tattoo it on you, don't do it. Don't. Just don't. If I tattoo you and you don't like it right now, I don't want you to come back and tell me all oh, that I forced you, that I conned you into getting it. And there are people that have no problem tattooing you or taking your money for um, for shit that they don't care about. Some people would say, "Oh, you're being too mean. Here. Don't cuss so much." I say, what's worse, me being the that someone being that comment, or me just giving you a warning? What's what the hell's out there? Be careful. I know I'm all over the road with my point. <clears throat>